Hi, I'm Stan Winston. I've wanted to start a toy company for a long time. I've always thought that what we do here at the studio is create these great big toys for the movies, but what if we could take all that creativity and all those ideas and make something that everyone could take home? That was the idea behind Stan Winston Creatures. All the action figures from the Creature Features films are different. Welcome to this behind the scenes look at the queen of the lair action figure from the She-Creature. In the movie, a traveling circus kidnaps a beautiful mermaid who they think will bring them fame and fortune. Upon their sea voyage to the United States, the mermaid has a pretty big surprise in store for everyone because she's the queen of her race and she transforms into a creature that ends up determining the fate of her captors. The concept of the she-creature was that it was this classic period piece, almost like the famous Hammer Horror films that came out of England in the late 50s and 60s. This movie is set on a ship out in the ocean. It's a very traditional tale of man versus monster. In our initial meetings about the action figure, we knew that we wanted to see the queen in an aggressive pose, much like she appears in many of her scenes. The queen is capable of slithering along the floor like a snake or raising herself upright and attacking. We thought the upright pose would be most dynamic for the toy. Andy Schoenberg, who worked on a lot of the movies for Stan Winston Studio, including all of the Creature Feature films, handled the sculpting duties for the action figure. Stan Winston Studio is divided up into many different departments. We have an area for concept design, a different room for sculpting, and a huge mold shop. This is where we create all of our monsters for the movies. The really cool thing about the Stan Winston Creatures action figures is that they are created in the same place as the movie characters and by the same artists. We had done a very famous Queen character before, and that was the Queen from James Cameron's Aliens, so we were familiar with the kind of character people expected. First of all, there's always something regal about creating a monster Queen, and the creature from the She-Creature is no exception. She is terrifying, but also magnificent in her own way that great mix of awe and horror. The motif of the queen's design is deep sea life. Her face is the look of an exotic fish. Her crown is like a thorny seashell. The body is a mix of eel and human. Overall, it gives her a very royal but eerie appearance. The deep sea motif was also a factor in our design of her colors. There are some great colors you just don't see anywhere else except on all these bizarre fish and plants. So we worked that into the action figure. Another detail we carried over into the figure was the various ways the queen could attack. She's got a long index claw like a butcher knife that can take off heads. Her tail is like the spike of a stingray. And of course her teeth are sharp like piranha. This was a fun aspect of the character because it forced us to be creative and help with the story. She had to have these different methods of attacking we wanted the base to have aspects of the ship deck, so we made crates and a net to set the stage. Ultimately, the Queen of the Lair has become a cool and complete action figure.